Well then, Arthur. Let's see what's happening. Steal a horse? Yeah. Another girl. Yep. Like my female horses in this game. Home sweet home. Don't think anyone's here. Hello? Anyone here? It's been abandoned, bro. Susan! Strauss, you here? Not seeing anyone. Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws hold up here. Look. Those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Shit. One here. Stealth kill. Possible. I found shit, bitch. No. Don't pick him up. Why are you picking him up? Put him down. Little bastard. Anyone else? Anybody around? No. Look in my room. Kentucky bourbon. Kentucky. Ken Kentucky. Cheer, bro. everyone gun oil Hello. what's this book nothing all right well, those are still here that Nobody there. Where the fuck am I meant to be going right now? Pocket watch. Tell that. It'll let me. Hello. Thank you. What else have we got? Nothing. Take what? Open gin. Okay. Bourbon. Take a cigar. What's this letter? No idea. Cocaine gum. Nice. Nothing. Mm -hmm. 
thing in there, no. Actually, I want me to run around. Ah, there. Inspect the letter. Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Lacay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. What well, city? <laughs> Darling niece Caroline, I guess I'm coming to see you in Lacay. Looks like we are. Where are my horse? I'll take this guy's horse. May as well be a pony. It's a little horse. Beautiful sight. Really is a beautiful game. Yeah. This is really a tiny horse. Quick though. Looks like we're home. Wrong button. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. Uh, howdy. Good old one meal. Okay, okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. They are crazy, bitch. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What are we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me, I am going to get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Jose a Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already. On behalf oh, of the wall, kerosene, and that was quick. The United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. 
Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Shit. Everyone you could find, did you, Bill? This is real bad. Stay down, huh? Let me fucking go. Go off, I go. Now there's fire to deal with. Fantastic. Where's my gun? Well, oh. pistols, of course. Come on, Sadie. Move. Okay. You're a real smart girl, Sadie. Crazy as fuck, she's smart. Get up here. Yes, ma'am. Where's all the guns? No guns? You ready? Let's do this. Oh yeah. What? What? Is that it? Where is the little bastard? Yeah. Where? 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 Ah. Let's. You call me a cocksucker, little bastard. See him, it's fucking dark as shit. Gatling gun. Yeah, still have to ask me twice. <laughs> yeah, baby. What the fuck are you doing, Arthur? There we go. Yeah, baby. Ooh, I like this gun. Get them all. Love it when bullets fly. <laughs> Die, motherfuckers. Son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. 
Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss, I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're going to hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. Look we'll at him. figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. He made Doyle's Tavern a million avenue. Okay. Was Polly still willing to my get stuck Lord, in? What a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. Half crazed? Fucking hell's a bomb blown cycle. Don't stop, Bill. Just my you? baby. Ah, it's been a long ass time. Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. It was. Right. Let's go see City. Here we go. Bounce, bounce, chicky, bounce, 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 chicky, bounce, bounce. You're okay. Come on, girl. Yeah. Nice to have Jimothy back. See you guys there. in the road. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <laughs> And that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? 
I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. I say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Fuck. The best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can nope. just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Big fucking needle. Thank you. Ten dollars for a shot. Tuberculosis, man, Jesus. I believe he's got tuberculosis. No coming back from that. And there's a wolf. Keep seeing him in my damn dreams. Problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in. Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems. I don't know. Seems as. What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Fucking Lenny, man. What a legend. <laughs> I 
So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't <laughs> no shit. Now the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone fallen fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, she happens. Hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sandy Adler. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha ha ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? Well, no. Oh, it's quite a thing. I'm gonna die quite anyway. Why not? Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Oh my Adler? God. <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope. One leg. <laughs> ah! Give it a tug. How did you get out of this? Well. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. It goes nothing indeed. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one Sounds good. to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who shit yourself to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. <laughs> Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is. I'm pressing the button. There, you'll have seen nothing like it. it. Does look pretty cool. All right then, let's break through these clouds. Do it. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular Not vessel to me. is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. Mm -hmm. She did, did she? 
to fight the crazy bitch to get me into something I didn't want to do. But it's kind of cool. No need to go any higher. Sorry, Dad. Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian Eight. My brother's called Balbasario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Arthur, be nice to the guy. Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. Seem to be dropping quite quickly. Ah, that's really cool. Better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all Boiled right. egg. Thank you. Recalling the evolution's uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Fucking sticky keys. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it that? Sure is. Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Very you cool. Very cool line. mission. That's the infamous really? Sissica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, got a friend to rescue, pal. Well, you want a happy customer, sure is. Don't you? Look, this isn't funny, now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. Good. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Dear God indeed. Rescuing John again. We're here. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Should we uh, think about heading back? I might be wrong, but it Not looks yet. like you have the binoculars too high. That ain't John. Okay, he ain't by the barn. I can't believe we're doing this. I uh, see some on the right. Nope, not there. Is that him? Yeah, there he is. That's him. Oh, uh, John. I can see there. Ascend! Ascend! Oh, my lord. Ah. I am getting shot. This is absolutely insane. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Ah. Here. Ow. You're fine. Hi, we're in the you clear big now, girl. Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now.
Princess Annisberg. Sure. Good lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased. Sure is. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. Yep. A hell of a lot of trouble. Let the fuck down, bitch. Well, she is crazy. You show them, Mr. Morgan. I will. And get a decent shot on them. Okay now. Who died? I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Got me over. I have got me repeater. Where well, hello? Hey, Shady, up here. Shit, Daryl Driscoll. Mrs. Adler has a long dress to pull. Yes, she does. Nice. I think I might need to adjust my feet. This is crazy, we all know this. Come on, Arthur. Reload quicker. Ryan. It's very difficult. Oh. oh dear, that boiled egg feels decidedly scrambled. Oh, reloading. Oh, he's dead. Nice. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm getting you. I'm falling. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Right, hello there. Too bad. Break your neck. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, damn it! Look, there's more of them on the other side. 
Let's fuck them up then. Give hand something. This ain't over yet. No, it is not. Reload. Good night, you bitch. Behind us. <laughs> Anyone else? Come to the right. Right. Oh my god. As soon as I run out of fucking bullets, you bastard. Mom, let's go get these sons of bitches. Took his fucking hat off. How was that not a headshot? Thank you. Little pussies. God, this bitch is crazy. I love her. Awesome. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Colm, the government. They got Colm O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems okay. with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>